In today's Catholic Woman segment, we meet Carla Harris. She's the Vice Chairman of Wealth Management at Morgan Stanley, and during her 30-year career, she's been named one of the top 25 most powerful women in finance. Carla is an active philanthropist, motivational speaker, the author of two books, Expect to Win and Strategize to Win. She is also a gospel singer who has sold out Carnegie Hall. What doesn't she do? On most Sundays, Carla can be found praising God in the choir of the St. Charles Gospelites of St. Charles Borromeo Catholic Church in New York City. Last week, I spoke with her. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you very much for having me, Lauren. You are one of the top women in the financial world. How have you lived your faith while climbing to the top of the Wall Street ladder? Well, I'll tell you, Lauren, my faith has always been at the forefront of who I am as a professional. Uh, and I think the way that I've been able to integrate it as a Wall Street professional and as a woman of faith is I've never pushed it on anyone else, but I've never hidden it as a, a real part of and an authentic part of who I am. So I've done it in a way that I manifest what I'm doing. I make sure that I go to church every Sunday. People know that. I'm very involved in my church in different ministries. So there's the outward appearance. But in terms of the internal, there's frankly or not a business decision that I make where I don't uh, consult the Holy Spirit before I make that call. So therefore, when I make a call, I'm pretty confident at that time it's the right answer. Can you give me an example of a time when you relied on church teaching to guide your business? Oh, sure. I, throughout my career, I, when it comes to dealing with colleagues or dealing with with clients in terms of respecting people and respecting them for who they are first uh, and listening to them, all the things that you would expect a person of faith to do. Why is attending Sunday Mass so important to you? Well, it's important for the sense of community. I mean, Catholic means universal, and the community of people of faith is sometimes one of the most inspirational things that you'll get the entire week, is to be with other people who are in prayer, who are believers, who are of one faith. That just inspires and motivates and, frankly, energizes you even more in your individual walk. Speaking of inspiration, there's a video of you that I saw giving advice to your 25-year-old self, and we're going to play a clip of it. There's nobody that can be Carla the way you can be Carla. It is indeed your competitive advantage. Your authenticity is at the heart of your power, Carla. In your career, was there a time when it was a challenge to authentically live out your faith? No, I'll tell you that I've been fortunate, and I think this goes to the choice of places where you work, frankly, when you're starting your career. But I've been fortunate in my 30-year career on Wall Street and my 30 years with Morgan Stanley that I don't feel I've ever had to compromise my faith. Do you have advice for women who, who might have to do that? I don't think there's ever a reason or a time, frankly, Lauren, when you should have to compromise your faith. You need to know who you are and know whose you are. And if there's something that goes against who you are and whose you are, then you have to stand up for that. And you will not ever be penalized for that. You have a young daughter. How are you passing your faith and values to your daughter? There are two ways. My daughter is two years old and nine months right now. <laughs> and uh, there are two ways that I think that I am manifesting it. One is that she, too, goes to church every Sunday. She has not missed a Sunday of church in her entire life. Wow. And I also make it my business to pray with her every night and say the Our Father, the Hail Mary, and the 23rd Psalm with her every night. The 23rd Psalm. Why that Psalm? Well, that was my grandmother's favorite psalm, and that was one of the first Bible verses that I learned and memorized among the other scriptures that I know. So I wanted to pass that along to her, too, because for me, it also reminds me that I should not get myself preoccupied with who might be in charge uh, in the world, because the first line is, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, because I need to know that I know that whatever I need, it will be supplied by him. Before we go, I want to share with our audience a video clip of how you spend your Sunday mornings. Is this the best part of your week? No question. No question. I look forward to Sunday mornings. I look forward to praising by singing. 
that is an integral part of my worship, and I look forward to getting a good sermon. Carla Harris, Vice Chairman, Senior Client Advisor, Managing Director of Morgan Stanley, thank you so much for joining us. It is my pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. And we will have a little performance from Carla coming up later in the show. But from Wall Street, we will take you to the White House tomorrow. Tune in for my interview with two Catholic women working alongside President Trump. Just yes, there is holy water, which sometimes scares the staff when I start bringing it out and, and start uh, <laughs> Throwing sprinkling it, it on. But actually, it was through my parish priest who gave it to me, uh, and I brought it over to the White House as well. So it is very much a part, as well as the statue of, of the Virgin Mary in my office. I sit down with Mercedes Schlapp and Helen Ferre. We explore how faith drives their professional lives. And we want to know how Catholic women have impacted your life. Let us know on my Facebook page, Lauren Ashburn, EWTN. And we will share your comments this week as we continue our series on today's Catholic Woman.